Welcome to Trust Your Glitter. This is Christy, and I am here with the astrology of whatever it has to be. So this is not going to be a traditional week update from date to date. I am going to do a episode for the astrology that is encompassing sort of the next few weeks. So it's an energy update. And I'm not going to get into the aspects, per se, of astrology. I'm just going to be pointing out a couple of things. And I feel like if I record a podcast every week about the horoscopes of the week, it's not serving the overall push of what the eclipses ahead are doing and the fact that we are entering a new astrological season this week. So I'll point out some dates. And I'm going to figure out as I go what feels right. So if I come back next week with an episode, I'm being kind of guided or called intuitively to record something. But it's not necessarily going to be a traditional horoscope. This is what each day of the week is going to look like. I'm looking at the astrology starting this week, leading up and through the month of April as an overarching shift for the world, society, however we want to look at this. So yes, there of course there's going to be aspects, there's going to be, you know, we have the spring equinox approaching us on the 19th of March. And that is leading us into a new astrological season. We also this week have Mars entering the sign of Pisces, which is going to reflect in many ways what these eclipses are doing for us because eclipse cycles are based upon the lunar nodes and our north node is in Aries, which is leaving us with Martian energy. And our south node, what we're releasing and letting go, is in the sign of Libra, which is ruled by Venus. And Venus has been in the sign of Pisces since last week. So as we approach this upcoming cycle of eclipses, I just kind of want to broaden the stroke of what I want to talk about. And it's really right now about how we ground ourselves and align our energies and we can't control everything that's going on around us. So these eclipses are shepherding in a global change. They always do. And in the U.S., this particular eclipse season is extremely important because there is a great American eclipse, and there's so much propaganda online about it that I don't want to add to that. And it would be unethical for me to do that. And my intuition, you know, wants to point people towards positivity, but I also don't want to be, you know, somebody who is spreading toxic positivity either. So the best way I can say is today's episode is going to look at this from hopefully a more practical perspective, but also heeding caution to the fact that the world is changing and there's things we cannot help from, uh, we can't avoid everything that's going on and it's it's tough because this is what the, the dilemma of... 